of the dashboard. There we go. Hey everyone, Rick and Sarah here above the dashboard. We uh, just uh, saw an article on Flipboard. What was it called? 14. What is it again? 14. Things real estate agents really want you to know. Ooh, 14 things real estate agents want you to know. And this is uh, good stuff because we run into this pretty much every day. So what's the first one? Prioritize what you want in a new home, but always be prepared to compromise. Right. So does anyone ever buy the home that they, the, they'll give you a long list of things? And does any home that anyone buys ever have everything in it? No. Nope. It does? I said no. Oh, no. I thought you said yeah. I was like, no, everyone in it always ends up compromising. Sometimes people buy, what, a home that's uh, completely different than what they told us in the first place. How many times do we go, that's the house they bought? But, you know, people buy what they want, right? So prioritize what you want, but you're going to be flexible because not, you're not going to find a home that has exactly everything you want. Which leads us into the second thing is definitely make sure the location is your number one priority because it's the one thing that you cannot change. Location, location, location. Citus, citus, citus. You cannot change your location. So make sure that you pick your neighborhood. We tell people to, uh, or your city or your town or whatever, we tell people to drive through your, uh, drive that neighborhoods in the morning, in the night, in the weekend, on Friday night all different times of the day to see if that's where you want to be. And then once you focus on a location, well, you know, from there you can find a home that fits most of your criteria, which was number two. All right, number three is real estate sites can be super helpful for house hunting, but finding a new home without an agent can be pretty challenging. Yeah, I mean, you got to work with 15 different agents who you're not their priority. You're calling them directly. They don't return your call. Challenge, 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 as opposed to just clicking. If, you, if we set up a search for you, you click on the heart button. Boom. We know you want it. We set up a showing for you. Uh, we take care of all of the legwork. Also, working for that other agent, I mean, they're not really working for you. They're, they're, they're a transaction agent. They, they owe you honesty and all that, but they're not working for you. So they're trying to, to they're, they're going to favor the other person a little bit. You need someone on your side working for you, giving you um, uh, good guidance. And number four, real estate agent services are totally free for buyers. So you might as well take advantage of it. Yeah, most people don't know that, do they? How many times do we run into a new buyer and they're like, Oh, I didn't realize that you were free. We're not free. The seller's paying us. Of course, we're getting paid. But for a buyer, don't pay the agent a dime other than maybe a minor transaction fee or something like that. But the commission is paid for by the uh, seller. All right, and number five, when buying, ask your agent if they recommend additional inspections beyond the standard ones because they might save you a lot of money in the long run. Yeah, what type of inspections do we have? We have, what, septic, we have the traditional, just uh, uh, basic inspection. WDO. Yep, WDO, which is a termite. It used to be called termite. Now it's all wood-destroying organisms. Um, and then um, the one other one that you have to do if you have a well and you're doing an FHA loan is the water test. Um, highly recommend getting all of those tests, especially the septic, because you just never know. I mean, you know, if, if the septic's been overused or it's about to go, that's a major, major, major expense. So, some people take their uh, inspections a little too far. Like, oh, I want this little nail sticking out and I want that fixed. That's not what the inspection's for. The inspection is for um, making sure that everything in the property. Uh, the house isn't falling down. Major things. The little things, I mean, you're, you're paying as it, you're buying the house as is. So we don't want to go in and nitpick. We want to know about them so we can fix them. But um, you're really looking for something major, something that, that kills the deal, a hole in the roof, something similar to that. Yeah, and it's a little bit of um, out of pocket money up front, but it's well worth it, especially if you end up finding something that uh, could have cost you a lot, lot more money in the long run. Absolutely. All right, number six, get a mortgage pre-approval before you start house hunting so you know exactly what you can afford. No doubt about that one because how many times have we taken a customer out, we meet them, and they're looking at this $300,000 house, they fall in love with it, and we get them go go take them to get qualified. They get qualified for two fifty. dollars Now everything that they like is not going to ever live up to that $300,000 house. So go in early, 
see what you qualify for. It's the first step. You're going to have to do it anyway, so you might as well do it in advance. Um, we have got people that we use. I have a mortgage loan off origination license as well, if Sarah's your agent. So uh, absolutely get qualified first. And you need that letter anyway if you're going to put forward, uh, put forth an offer. So if you go out and find something that you love and you're not even pre-approved yet, you can't even submit your offer without the pre-approval. So. Nope. All right, number seven. And when buying, compare lenders and programs to make sure you're getting the best rate. Yeah, that can be a little very, very, very challenging. Um, getting the best rate is a challenge because you're going to pay points in advance. Are you just going straight on the rate? Are you doing a 30-year 30, 30 mortgage? Are you doing FHA? Are you doing BHA? There are so many options, so many options that it's, uh, you know, that's a very big challenge. Ultimately, what you want to look at is what yield the lender's getting because um, that's how much you're paying. You know, are you going to pay uh, advanced uh, points in advance to lower your mortgage payment, um, that's a personal decision. But yeah, shop around, find someone you're comfortable with is the most important part because you're going to be very intimately involved with that lender. Um, they're going to find out every single thing about you and more important than anything at all with your lender, be honest. Don't hide a thing. They can deal with anything. But if they, if you hide something from them, they'll find it. So why hide it? Just be up front. This is what we can do for you. They're going to find can. it, and it could be a deal breaker way into your um, your deal of your house, and that's not going to be a good thing for anybody. For your, for you buying, for you selling, you'll be out money and uh, all kinds of sorts of things. Yep. All right. Number eight. Real estate agents work on a commission, so they only get paid when they actually get the house sold. Yeah, we have no desire to get the house sold for more money, less money, whatever. We're interested in getting you something that you love and making you happy and then uh, making uh, so that you will have referrals. I mean, the difference between, you know, 2000 more or 2000 less for us is really only like 20 or $30. So we're interested in buying and selling property. That's our job. Our job is to market and sell property. Um, we're not trying to force you into anything that you don't want, obviously, but we do want you, uh, we do want you buying um, a property from us, but we do not get paid a dime until then. So we work extra hard to get you to close. All right, number nine, we do this well. Hire a professional real estate photographer before you put your home on the market. Oh, that's a must, absolute must. We used to go around and take pictures. You know, it was back in the crashes, so the houses were only $25,000 anyway. But if you are, it's just remarkable what a professional photographer can do with the wide-angle lenses. Um, they, today, they can actually, uh, 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 what's it called, staging? What's it called? Uh, virtual. virtual. Yeah, virtual. They can actually virtually stage your property, and uh, that's pretty cool, too. Um, but you have to have a professional photographer, especially if you have a lot of land, because a professional photographer will bring in a drone, they'll take a drone shot of the of the property, um, without a doubt, no doubt about it. You gotta do a professional photographer, and we actually pay for that for you in our master's marketing program. All right, number 10. And when selling, choose a mortgage broker that will work with your real estate agent to get your home into closing. Say that one more time. Obviously, we've not pre-done this list. Say that again. And when selling, choose uh -huh. a mortgage broker okay. that will work with your real estate agent to get your home into closing. Hmm. That's very interesting. Um, I don't know that I agree with that one necessarily. What they're basically saying is have someone readily available to pre-qualify any buyers that, that may come in. Um, Obviously, you know, we have a list of lenders that we're going to use and we prefer that you use me, but the, the, I don't know that that one is necessarily something that, that you want to do, but it's certainly something that doesn't hurt. What do you think? No, it doesn't, I don't necessarily with, with, with what you said, but your more, your broker, your mortgage broker and your real estate agent have to be able to work together. Their communication is key into getting into closing. Because if one's on this page and the other's on this page and this one doesn't know that this one needs this stuff, it just doesn't fly well. Yeah, that's a pretty good point she has there. Yeah, absolutely. Nine out of ten times the buyer, when they come into the house, they're already going to have a broker. But if they don't, at least you've got them. them at least you know you got someone working with you.
Okay, number 11. Always be honest about any issues with the home you're selling. Yeah, you can't hide anything, especially in the state of Florida. Um, you must disclose any known material defects that may cause, I mean, that will affect the value of the property. Um, that's an absolute, as a no-brainer, without a doubt, you got to do it. Um, if it's discovered later that you hid that, um, you're going to be liable. You're going to get sued, and you're going to end up paying for that at least. Uh, whatever the repair is so it doesn't make any sense to hide anything anyway the inspector's gonna find it I mean again the, the one thing we don't want to do in real estate is hide anything anytime anywhere it's just not worth it if uh, if you had a hole in the roof and you got it repaired say I had a hole in the roof I got it repaired it's fine you know, we put a brand new roof on we had leaks we put a brand new roof on that's actually a plus turn it into a positive the repairs that you made okay number 12 you like this one. Ah, uh, okay Though they work a less conventional schedule, real estate agents still have personal lives. We do? You could have fooled me. 24-7, 365, baby. Yeah. So, pretty much when someone comes and works, joins our team, we tell them, you know, hey, we love you, but you're never going to have another vacation where your phone doesn't ring. Um, although we have a team to support each other, that's ultimately... Uh, what happens we we do have personal lives so we can't be available 24 7 but you're generally going to get a call back from us within two hours three hours if even that long and we'll typically reply to your text anyway a lot of times the best way to get a hold of us is text although sometimes you just have to talk but um there's times you know that everyone has uh, with down times but we go out of the way to make sure we have a teammate there for you when you need us we have closings while we're in the world series what are you talking about we don't have any lives <laughs> But well, we have one of our team members well, there, we don't, don't we? have any life from it. <laughs> we always say we have a little joke between us that, um, and most of you know, who, and those who know us know we coach a lot of baseball and softball, but we have a joke between us. If we're ever slow, we just need to go out of town for a tournament because then the phone starts ringing off the hook. And it's true. I, I don't know that I hardly ever go to the dugout and I'm not working something on the <laughs> Okay, number 13, whether you're buying or selling, try to find an agent that lives in the area. Yeah, that's very important that the agent knows your area. Um, I, between Sarah and I, we probably know almost every street in the city of DeBerry and Deltona in our city, without a doubt. Um, Sarah grew up around here. I've been here for 14 years. Um, we are very intimately involved with the entire city and with the entire area. Um, a good example of this is you'll find uh, when you go to do an appraisal that they will have the appraiser come in from like Tampa and then they'll come back with an appraisal that's just off the charts low or off or it's ridiculous so they don't have a clue what the area is they're just they're just doing what they're doing but if you have an agent that doesn't know the area then how is he ever gonna how are you ever gonna find what you really want okay Number 14, last Ooh, one. Last one. <laughs> and if you don't know something, just ask. Your real estate agent is prepared to answer any and all questions you may have about the buying or selling process. Oh, absolutely prepared, especially us. I mean, we've been doing this. I've been doing this for 30 years. Sarah's been with me for 10 years. Uh, we've been we've been doing this for quite some time. We're, a lot of times, we fall into the habit of uh, of assuming that you know things because we do it every day we do it every day we do it every day and you just don't know it so a lot of times we fall into the habit of thinking that you know you know um, everything the about the process right and then we'll, we'll get not humbled necessarily but we'll all of a sudden we'll get a little education every now and then we'll work with a brand new buyer uh, first time home buyer young couple young person whatever um, and they all of a sudden are like asking questions where we're going wow they really just have no clue how this process works and, and that's perfectly fine that's perfectly acceptable that's what we're here for yeah and another common thing on that is is that we can show you any property at any time it doesn't have to be our listing that's another misconception that people don't know is that we can show you anything that you're interested in in any of the areas and we're happy to do so yep absolutely so that's 14 things. I thought this was a great article. I did post a link to the article so you can read it yourself. Um, this is the stuff that people are always afraid to ask or don't think that we really want to know. 14 things that are uh, 
14 things that your agent wants you to know. Um, fantastic information. This is the first of uh, Rick and Sarah's dashboard conversations and um, many, many more to come as we drive down the road and find out inf interesting information. We plan to share it with you. Do you think we spend a lot of time in the car with the dashboard? No, not at all. Was it? Was it? I'm not even going there. I think there's a, some TV show or something about that. But um, for now, we're out. We will talk to you soon. And you guys have a great weekend. As always, one of our team, if you find something you're looking for, or if you're thinking of getting top dollar for your property, our master's marketing program will identify the most likely potential buyer, target that buyer specifically with advertising, and get you top dollar for your property. You guys have a great weekend. Our number is 386-866-1006. Seven. Give us a call, shoot us a text, one of our team will be happy to help you.